Hello and welcome to another video about test automation. I am Naeem Akram Malik from Test Automation TV. I am a senior test engineer. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install and run the Oxygen IDE. The Oxygen IDE is a dedicated IDE for software test automation. The website right now says Appium and Selenium made ridiculously simple. Well, that's an aspiring goal, I must say. Let us see how Oxygen, how well Oxygen IDE does it. There is one thing to note, and that is if you are Googling for Oxygen IDE, most probably you will reach the Eclipse Oxygen web page. Eclipse is a different IDE, and Eclipse Oxygen is different. The Oxygen IDE we are referring to can be downloaded from OxygenHQ.org. There is this orange button over here. Let us go ahead and download it and then run it and see what it can do for us. You must have installed Java 8 in order to run the Oxygen IDE and if you want to see if you have Java installed or not just run the command prompt from your PC and type the command Java and if you want to see the version of the Java then you'll have to type the command Java space dash version The download is completed. Now let us run the setup. The Oxygen IDE Chrome extension will also be installed on your PC, but it will be disabled by default. We must close the Chrome browser because the extension will be installed. Let me close the Chrome browser here. But we also need to close the Chrome browser from the tray. Let me close the Chrome browser completely. I'll click the Launch Oxygen IDE checkbox and then I will click Finish. I waited for several seconds but the Oxygen IDE window did not show. A window showed up for like a split second it was saying initializing and then it disappeared. So I decided to go to the task manager and close or kill the processes from the task manager and then start the Oxygen IDE again from the shortcut which is created on my desktop. On the welcome page there is a YouTube tutorial video and it looks pretty useful to me. If we'll click this plus button here it will display an error so I figured out that we'll have to click the other button right next to it and open a folder. Now I can click the add folder button, I will call it hello world. Now let us add a file here and let us save the file. You can see that it will be a javascript file by default, a .js file. 
now let us record a script it says that the oxygen chrome extension must be installed and enabled let us go and enable the oxygen chrome extension Now let us close the chrome browser and try recording again. I'll play around for a while and then I will go back to the IDE and I will click the stop recording button. You can see that the JavaScript is generated for us automatically. It contains various strategies for finding the control which includes uh, the XPath and by ID as well. You can also run the scripts by clicking the run button. Alright, so that was Oxygen IDE. It looks really promising to me and it looks kind of casual. So I do look forward to learn more about Oxygen IDE myself in the future. And if you too want to learn more about test automation, including but not limited to the Oxygen ID, please subscribe to my channel Test Automation TV on YouTube right now. Just subscribe to my channel and stay in touch. If you are watching on LinkedIn, do express your ideas, your questions and everything else in the comments below. You can do it on YouTube as well. But first thing on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, get in touch. I'll be coming at you with a lot more useful content about software test automation, QA, programming. After all, I've been a programmer for a long time and I've been a test automation developer for about a decade now. So hey, get in touch. Whether you are a newbie, whether you are an like veteran like myself, get in touch, subscribe to my channel, follow me on LinkedIn, get in touch, see you soon with lots and lots of more useful test automation stuff. Bye.